The big event, it's finally here, it's finally coming. What is going on YouTube? It's your voice, Banco, and today I'm excited because we are actually gonna be getting ready for the 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals. Now, as you guys can see, we're not at Nationals, we're not even on the road yet. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's going to be Friday morning. I'll probably be driving as this video comes out, but in today's video, we're gonna be going around just getting ready for Nats. There are some cards that I'm kind of missing for this very spicy deck that I wanna to take to the main event, hopefully get on a feature match. During the event though, I will be posting some stuff on the weekend if you guys want to check out my social medias my instagram my twitter i'll be posting a ton of event coverage and everything while i'm there on those so make sure you guys check them out but before you even do that make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like these vlogs if you like these kind of videos i'm just super excited for nationals this year i'm gonna be honest with you what i'm gonna be taking to this event i'm not gonna expose right now but let me tell you it's the gobbity goose sauce it's that good. So first up today is untouchables. Maybe we can find the things we need. By the way, if you guys couldn't tell, we got the fresh cut for Nats. Ooh, looking good, feeling better. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back in the car and we ended up picking up some really cool stuff. I picked up this plasma and this destiny draw. And the reason I picked these up is because Astro Phoenix's voice actor is going to be at Nats and I wanted something cool to get signed. And so what better cards to get signed than plasma and D draw, two of Astro's most iconic cards. Now, Jaden's voice actor is also going to be at Nats, but I already have some cool stuff for that as well. I'm going to show it to you guys a little bit later in today's vlog. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing next. I just needed a video for Friday because we're still on that five days a week schedule, but I guess we'll see where we go and I'll keep you updated all right so i actually came home you guys can see in like my comfy clothes and that's because i realized that i need to pack for nationals so i'm doing that right now so right now i'm currently packing but i still need content i really don't know what to give you guys today i've been so busy with nationals but i do want to show you that i have a couple idea for things that i want to do at nationals but i also want to get a couple things signed by the voice actors so i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to get signed but keep in mind by the time you guys are watching this i still wouldn't have gotten my card signed so i'm going to bring a bunch of cards let me know in the comment section what you think the best ones to get signed are i'll take a look and then from there maybe i'll choose so help me out please i really need your help with this all right so here's my gx binder you guys can see the gold stamp ulti first flame wing man i really want to get that signed but do i want to get such an expensive card signed i don't know i'm such a big fan i know i don't want to get these signed i mean these are really cool cards as well but they're not as iconic i do want to get one of those secret rare neosis signed though yeah i might get this one signed over here but i feel like it's Jaden yuki i have to get a flame wing man signed and this is the best one i have a couple more over here but like this one's in japanese and this one's a silver stamp ude print and i know my friends were telling me to get this one signed because it's cheaper but like do i want a ude card instead of the ulti first over here like I, I don't know if i can do that these are some things i'm also for sure gonna get signed so the jaden yuki token for sure i have a funny picture of me with jaden yuki i'm gonna get this one signed 100 and then for aster i'm gonna get the destiny draw on the plasma like i showed you earlier these two are for sure gonna get signed but i just feel like i need more i need more i don't know what it is i feel like i need the neos i need a flame wing man and then when it comes to Aster stuff, let me get to Aster stuff. Like I have some pretty expensive stuff. I have an ulti first Diamond Dude. I got the ulti first Dreadmaster, the Dogma. I think I'm going to get a Militia signed for sure. I don't think I'm going to get Dasher signed, but I'm probably going to get this one signed. This card looks insane. Again, I have a second Plasma here, but the other one's going to get signed. I really want to get some of the iconic cards signed. Maybe Dark City. Oh, should I get Skyscraper signed? Where's my Skyscraper at? Should I get Skyscraper signed? There's so many options. What do I do? But on the real though, I'm going to bring a lot of these cards with me. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think i should get signed because i'm just gonna listen to you guys at this point there's so many good options but i just don't know what the best one is now i have some packs here in my hand right and hopefully i get the opportunity to open packs with like ruxin some of the other yugi tubers that we meet at nationals but these are not just any packs they're korean legend of blue eyes packs but what's special about these packs is they're all heavy packs that means that everything in these packs is going to be super rare or ultra rare and that means there could be a blue eyes a dark magician a red eyes in here and so hopefully maybe i or one of the other youtubers pull them don't worry i'm gonna be opening packs with them on camera so it'll be in the nationals vlog don't worry it'll be in the vlog if you guys have any other pack ideas let me know because i can still go get some packs at the event maybe i get some more heavy packs that are guaranteed supers or ultras i don't know let me know. I feel like I want to do more pack openings with the guys while I'm there. I don't know. There's just so much that can happen. By the way, for all my GX fans, let me know which elemental hero. Okay, I don't have a bubble man, but let me know which of the vanilla elemental heroes are your favorite. For me personally, it's Avion. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Avion was the very first elemental hero shown in the show. I'm pretty sure Jaden just summoned this in defense position, which by the way is totally illegal, but he summoned this and he passed his turn. So this one is my personal favorite. Which one of the vanillas is yours? All right, guys, we're actually going to call it a vlog there. I'm actually on Discord with the boys right now. 
playtesting with them for the event. So we're going to be playtesting all night. It's not a smart decision, but we're going to do it anyways. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys all for supporting me throughout this journey. If you guys are going to be at Nats, make sure to come say hi to your boy Spanko. I appreciate every single one of you. I know this vlog was kind of put all over the place, but uh, I had to have a video for Friday. Five days a week. I ain't going to break the streak now. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko, sign and out. Peace.